All right, so we are live now. Um, as I was just saying, uh, this fireside chat's going to be a little bit shorter. Um, I'm planning on just doing about like 30 minutes or so. Uh, as far as stuff to bring up, let me see. Uh, Soulite is going to be, I think he might already be back officially, or he's about to. Um, so he'll be back, and the biggest thing for me is he'll be back with, uh, he can start running Nuko, so then, um, we'll have the updated codex and stuff on there, and, uh, I've got two dozen or so articles I wrote for that that I can add to it, and, uh, yeah, that'll be cool. Um, as far as the, the Festival of Selja is, uh, technically officially over, I guess I, I could have made an announcement for that, but, um... We had, yeah, just like a little uh, map that I made, and then uh, Pato made a super cool, uh, I want to say high-res version, but what was the program you used for it? Incarnate. Incarnate, okay. Yeah, but um, that looks awesome, and that's up, uh, you know, and we got the new WA lore page on the website, too, which has that. So all that is on there. Boo, lore sucks. <laughs> and we've got... Uh, don't get mad at Lord because you can't read. A couple of new stories and stuff up on the forums. Um, I put another uh, chapter, kind of. They're not really chapters. It's going to be short for the origin of the Manylings. Um, I finished the History of the Lightlings article. Um, what else? I did do some I did some updates to the, the Dippity lineage charts and all that. Those should be all updated. Um, and then, what else do we have? The new calendar is out, everyone's probably seen that. Um, Woohoo! Yeah, <laughs> calendar. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Woo, I'm on my phone at a mall. Woohoo, calendars. <laughs> um, I have an important question, though. Sure. Koozie has me in charge of the new lesson for lore. Where do I go find anything out about the lore? Because that's the personal topic for this lore discussion. <laughs> Uh, he has an article. If you go, um, so because I'm running the old bot, it doesn't have. It might not have updated article on Euler, but if you go in the forums under the subforum Codex of the Ice here, that has. Um, it's like an encyclopedia of all the WM members, and there's a uh, one category called members, and uh, Euler should have an article on there. Um, other than that, I mean, just kind of you can just search his name on the forums. And you might find some stuff. Um, I was actually just going to look. I think you might have a song, actually. Like, not even remembering. Maybe not. No, he nice. doesn't. He does not have I was, a song. I was curious because I was blasting Kuzi with questions about the uh, revival period with like Loki and Rakanushi and all those people about what happened to them. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, not everything is in the encyclopedia about all those guys. Unfortunately, it would be cool if... Um, I think that's like one of the goals is to have... All those old famous memories in there. Um, not in there yet. Euler does have an entry. It just has like a paragraph or something about him, but. Dax and Knight biographies went for Koozie because he was in Thor's Hammers. <laughs> um, oh, you could even look just on the website under the, the Iron Hair Yar uh, page on the website. It has, you know, like two sentences about him, but it doesn't really say a whole lot. <laughs> two, whole, two whole sentences, wow. <laughs> Uh, honestly, the biggest thing would probably be to like ask me. I, I mean, I know a little more about him probably than might be in the the Uko entry. Um, I mean, he, he has a forum account as well, so like you could search him and I mean, you can find his posts and stuff. As far as what he did, yeah. I, I want to say Dane might have a thread somewhere where he talks about what Euler did a little bit, but I'm not sure. I'd have to look. We need to cover the big conflict with Soul Light, the, the the closing part of that. <laughs> No, I just wanted to ask since you had brought up lore. Actually, we are uh, since now I'm pick since I'm picking the prominent members we're talking about. I took Uller just to be self-loathing. Uh, House Kamander. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, he was definitely a character. I mean, oh well, I mean he is a <laughs> just reminded me he's a literal character in the saga of House Dippity too, and you know it's sort of that's. Uh, romanticized so you know it depends how much uh you want to take that into account but i think if nothing else it shows that 
um, he was really important to Dane as kind of his right hand man. Um, like his old username was the Enforcer, and I think Dane kind of thought that he was his Enforcer in a way. And uh, Euler was definitely, yeah, he was like very no nonsense. I mean, a lot of people just hated him just for his his, his attitude because I mean, yeah, he did not get along very well with with a lot of guys, but. Um, he was kind of a, a leadership figure for a long time, and yeah, he he often he ran the bots in the StarCraft channel, and he uh, yeah uh, he'd hand down punishments and that kind of thing. When do we punish Pedomania? Yeah. <laughs> for what? <laughs> for existing. For, for, for existing. For, okay, for existing, Ooh. I I don't think that's a punishable offense. Yeah. I I should be punished for con for confusing Rocker for Talos. Nice non dex person <laughs> into Talos. Yeah, you should be demoted to a scout for that. Yeah, grave area. Yikes. I'm putting in the report right now. Uh -huh. Although I do want to say before Fireside started, uh, I'm a, a, now I'm reviving a second game in WA missed. Oh, what uh, is this? Now now we've got about six people playing War Thunder. Oh gosh! Cool. You know, I actually like I like the five person fire such. I mean, I hate to say that I want fewer people showing up, but I kind of I kind but of. But I'm like not it. that mad if Koozie's not here. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I need to I need to do some, some make there. it like this elite event where everyone has to like submit like a, a reservation and there's only like five spots per week. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh boy. What? Oh, so what has I been just found a way to cheat the system. Not yeah, much. You appeared not much. in the middle of announcements. Oh, okay. I ruined it. Sorry. What appeared? Oh, oh he was... appeared in the middle of you announcing, but doing the general announcements. Uh oh. Yeah. Um. Sure, I think I had something to say. I don't know. Did you want to mention anything we ever talked about? Uh. Oh, let me think. Uh. Not. Not yet. Um, I guess, I guess, sort of a general uh, on the lookout for potential changes in. Um, I don't know. I'm sort of. Uh, oh, this is gonna sound very spooky. I I'm sort of evaluating all the officers right now because I think the board's reviews are really just focused on, you know, Berserker down. So, I am sort of looking at all the officers and talking about them and or talking with them. I mean. Um, and I'm planning on doing that and kind of looking at um, talking about potential officer candidates, future officer candidates. And um, I, yeah, one of the things I was talking about with Talos was the um, the availability of officers like throughout the day. Like, you know, he was talking, we were talking about how, um, you know, like we have a lot of officers on like at night, but not very many during the day. So, yeah, that was another thing that I was kind of looking at is um, how active all the officers are and what kind of availability we have so we can make sure that there's people online and available at all the times. And, yeah, so, I mean, that's just very vague, I guess, but I am planning on looking at that. And I've also been kind of looking at the number of war bands and great companies we have and making sure that... Um, we don't need more or less, I guess. I, I felt like we were, we were kind of overloaded a little bit, but I think we had a lot of kind of inactive guys that just drifted down to guess. And uh, now most of the warbands are at a reasonable size, I think. But yeah, just basically a uh, vague announcement that I am uh, evaluating some stuff currently. So uh, Ooh, keep an eye spooky. out. <laughs> um, on the On that subject, Vest, what is the ideal... Um, war war band size to you? Unlimited. Uh, that'd <laughs> be a lot of right work. <laughs> that'd um, be a lot honestly, of work. Honestly, twenty three was a lot of work in tricking Colgis. Yeah, it, it's sort of a uh, there's sort of two numbers. There's the number of like active people, and then the number of people that you might have to uh, write write up. Um, like. I think 15 is like a sweet spot, maybe, and I think generally, not bad. yeah, I I think generally 10 to 20 is probably the range I'm looking for. I think a couple of the warbands might be a little bit over that, um, but yeah, that is something I'm I'm looking at too. Uh, so if I they think are if it goes more, over, well, you might want to get it's worth it's it's, it's, well, it's worth it's it's worth mentioning too that there's certain places that have more berserkers though, and not you know uh, like the owners think what has like three berserkers. 
there's a lot of work to give you up. Like, it's, 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 easy, it's an easily spread load of work for people. Yeah. I'm just looking at the numbers right now. Pay to, pay, pay to, how many berserkers do you have? Two? I just so, have one. One. So Kolga's has 26 right now. That's probably the yeah. big one. Yeah, Kolga's and, was, and, was a pain. And most of those Kolga's are inactive now, though. I think they're yeah. not, even like a, not even around. Around so really... 10 of them, I think, are inactive. Last yeah, time I did the... No, even, 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 even more than that. There's more than that. Like, I mean, the only one that's really active are Toxin and Athballer and Manny. Everyone else is kind of... Um, Maybe they weren't talking, they were just inactive. So, and that was kind of the big issue. I don't mean to sidetrack this, but that was kind of the thing I talked about best too, is about uh, just culling the inactive warband members and, and members. In yeah, yeah, that's kind of one thing I found um, because I did the the Mjolnir's uh, board of review last time myself, and uh, I found I think a half a dozen or so guests that. Uh, could just be, um, um, or, or I mean, scouts that that should be demoted. Guess they hadn't posted roll calls in you know months and months and months. Um, so Ooh, I'm you slacking. Yeah, so I'm sort of um, going to be kind of looking at all the war bands and seeing if there's maybe a few that that are just kind of hanging around that that people forgot to demote because I think one of the things that used to happen was um, I think I mentioned this last time, but Huskarls and a or. A, Let's see. Oh, yeah, the only people who could assign roles actually were the Jarls, and not so the Jarls and me. So a lot of times Huskarls or even Thanes would go in and recommend promotions and demotions, and then they couldn't actually change the roles. So um, I think sometimes uh, some of those might have been forgotten, some of those demotions forgotten. That, because the promotions we don't forget about generally because they're they're announced, and then it's, you just look at the announcement and say, okay, we promote these guys. But then demotions, you know, we're not announcing them, so I think sometimes yeah. they just got forgotten about, and that's why some of those members are still sitting around at Scout. I mean, I'm looking at the sit reps, and I mean, it shows the promotions and demotions, but no, I don't think a lot of people really read those, and they're not as as big like they're not as big of a deal as when you look in the announcements and say congrats on these promotions you're actually looking at kusis right now i mean it's it's missing a bunch of demotions technically yeah. but um uh, i'm not it's sure. got the exhalation in there yeah i uh I'm back now. i think that that that's it rep is gonna because it was sort of last minute i think because, I mean, uh, Kusi's been pretty busy and uh, Skullrus was, or, uh, well, Skullrus was in LOA, but Solite was in LOA too. And um, I talked to him, so I think uh, he had asked Kusi to do the sit rep, but I think there was, um, it was it was tough to get that in. Uh, I think Kusi wasn't expecting it or something. I'm not sure the exact scenario, but, um, yeah, I think Solite back. Hopefully that should be a little bit smoother too. Yeah, delete Solite. Yeah. Um, make, me, make me the Jarl. I did post announcements that um, I added the add attention thing to the handbook. I know I said announcement I was going to do fireside like that, but especially with only five people, I haven't seen the real point to it. Um, but if you're it, some older members might remember add attention because this is a really old WA thing. It used to be you'd type um, like an officer would type um, asterisk AA asterisk, and then everyone in the the text the chat channel could uh, would reply with AA. And then it would sort of be used for meetings and stuff, because then only the officer could speak, or else he would he would give people the floor and that kind of thing. So my yeah, a few people suggested that to me. So I brought it back. So now only any officer can do it if they need to. Um, and yeah, if if we get a larger turnout of fireside chats, uh, I might use it or, or use it sort of informally, just so that because um, I, th I, I don't think... see the add attention on the handbook. Where is it at? Uh, it should be there. I think it's like the very, very end. Um, I think there's just a section called Latin Attention. There should be. Um, unless I forgot to update it, but I think I, I did. Um, the lowest part I have is Marks on mine, which is update. It's updated and revised. Hmm. Let me take a look here. Oh, yeah. So it's it's uh, it's three sections above Marks. Let's talk songs and stories. Or templates recruiting fireside jets. Uh no, I'm I'm looking at the image uh, in in the rules channel right now, and it has uh going up from the bottom, it has marks, and then WA classes, and then the battlegrounds, and then add attention. Where did you, where did you get yours? Was it from rules or? Yeah, oh. I got it from rules. Maybe I forgot to. Hmm. Maybe I forgot to upload. 
the right one. But yeah, if you look at the image in rules, for sure it has it has that attention at the bottom. Um, oh yeah, it, I bet it does. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I have to. I now have the new one. You just have like I had to find it. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. I I did like a a mini update like like a day ago, so that uh, yeah that that, that that could be why I didn't. Okay, but um, but yeah, I just I brought that back just for use probably in like meetings and stuff to keep because I think last time. I think the fireside got kind of chaotic a little bit. I mean, I think I can kind of like jump in and people will sort of like yield to me then talking. But I think if we made it so, so people weren't, uh, you know, talking over each other, interrupting as much. And it was just sort of just, you know, each person has a f the floor at a time and then they can just go and talk about that thing. And, um, you know, I put uh, in the announcements too, that if we do that, people can always um, message me before anytime before the fireside chat, like even like a week before or whatever, or an hour before anything they want me to bring up. Um, and, or, uh, during the fireside chat, message me or ping me or whatever, um, that they have something they want to talk about or they want to comment on something. And then I can just kind of pass the floor from person to person. If we really need to, I, I have it set up if we need to do so people are actually muted and there's a role that gives people the, the, the speaking right. So um, if we really need to do that, I, I'm thinking we won't. Uh, and that we can just like say it and then we'll just try to keep it more organized. But yeah, I just, a uh, few, few people suggested that to me. I think it was Kusi and not, if I remember right. Um, yeah, I was, I was in them helping out on figuring out what to do with the commands. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I think I think it's a great idea. And uh, yeah, it's kind of another thing I just kind of forgot about, like the use of acting ranks too, like acting Huskarl and stuff. Um, it's not like a literal rank called acting Huskarl, but sort of giving people like temporary promotions to test drive stuff. I think a lot of old stuff we used to do like ten years ago that I I kind of forgot about, but I think it still works pretty well. Like, um, uh, yeah, I think like thus far, like an Arian being acting Huskarl is really cool because I think an Arian at least in WA, has never uh, held an officer rank before, as far as I know, and then it sort of gives him the chance to kind of try it out, and we get to kind of see how he does, and that's sort of like a trial thing. And, um, yeah, it should people, kind of give people a chance, and it doesn't violate, like, the double promotion rule, so let's say we had, like, a raider or something, and, um, you know, we need a Huskarl in a warband, and maybe we want to do, like, acting, you know, you promote a Berserker, and then it's acting Huskarl or something like that. You know, if we're in a pinch and we need we need somebody to fill a role like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that's been a good idea. Wow, it's already six twenty. Holy cow! Um, yeah, so a couple of new things there, but don't think we've had any sweeping handbook changes in a while. Definitely not since the last uh, fireside chat. But, yeah, as far as, let's see, what I'm working on is kind of still, I actually got my to-do list uh, down pretty low right now. Um, I finished up one or two stories I kind of working on, because I sort of, I think we didn't really know what to do with the Festival of Selja, because it was kind of Solite's thing, but he was on LOA. And gone. Then, yeah, and then like like a week before, a couple days before, you know, I was talking to Khan, who's Lord of Commander, and we were like, Okay, we got we got to do this, I guess. So I kind of um, uh, I I sort of thought, well, let's try to do some lore stuff or something like that, maybe, because um, it's about betrayal. You know, the background of the festival is you know when Dane was leading WA, you know, yeah, sixteen odd years ago, he and then he picked uh, uh, Qualius over Commander as his second in command because Qualius said you got to exile Commander, the guy Commander from the clan, or I'm gonna. I leave. remember reading this. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, and he did it. Uh, he exiled him for, for nine months, I believe. So that's what the festival is about. So it's sort of hard to think of something that connects to that. Like, people were joking, like, we should, like, exile somebody, like, for fun or something. But, we should uh, name every guest Numenor. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, uh, yeah, so I just did a lore stuff. So I, I finished some stories. And that's something I'm still kind of working on, like the origin of the Manylings. Um I'm kind of oh, yeah. enjoying writing that, and I'm hoping to finish that. I don't know how many more parts there will be. I'm kind of thinking two-ish, yeah. maybe one or two. And then I'm working uh, on. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say, and then uh, I've got a house rivalries thing. I'm working on. Okay. I said I right now all I'm doing is I'm just working on a new coat of arms for Ath. 
And then, oh, for House Kilroy. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. It's insane. Uh, it's... So, what I can say so far about it is it's different than what normal coat of arms look like. And it's completely hand-drawn, except for a certain part in there. That he had me at specifically. It's, yeah, it's insane. That It'll sounds really cool. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah you gotta sure. let the fashion framer do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does this sound really good? <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely yeah. eager to see that. And, uh... Yeah, I think House Kilroy has sort of been this thing where they've had the same coat of arms for... It's been since 2009. Yeah. So about a full oh, 10 years almost. Yeah, and I, I can't remember if I've talked to Ath about it, but uh, you know, all the other houses I've gotten new ones, so I think that'll be nice for House Kilroy. Yeah. And I want to say House Kilroy is uh, on the rise completely, but... They have like he has a couple uh, a couple of new recruits there, uh, which has been cool to see. So uh, it's like here and there, like they're here and then they're gone and then they're back, and you're really confused. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm hoping they they come back. I think I always think the yeah. more houses we have that are all you know pretty active is cool. You know, a lot of people are excited that Ultima came back. He's the one lone house. Yeah, there. yeah. Hashtag adopt me, Ultima. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think uh, that'll be that'll be awesome to see. That's cool. Yeah, here. and then I'll need to talk with you because I'm gonna be start running Counter Strike nights. Like I'll do recruitment. Oh, because awesome. I guess I gotta get recruiting again because all of mine just died. Yeah, it's kinda it, sad. It is sad. It just it it happens unfortunately. You yeah, like I looked at it and I was like, oh, all eight of mine are not here anymore. I should probably get some more. Yeah, I mean it's not. It, uh, I want to say it's hard for somebody to be to be a member of WA, but I think oh, no. it's pretty easy if people aren't super involved. Just like tons of people, just like fade in and out all the time, and sort of like uh, oh yeah, it's like fishing kind of. I guess like they it's insane. A little initiative. Like I'm looking yeah. at some of the scouts right now, and I've never met with any of them. Like I know Manny, okay, um. I've played with Isfel and I've played with Harold. That's it. Out of all 29 of them. So I think we need to find a way to get scouts to want to play more. Because I know when I first got here back in February, uh, Foldmouth made it his like main priority to get me playing with everybody to make sure I stayed. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And right now, the way the ranks are set up, it's sort of... Warrior is sort of the standard rank. Like, Warriors are full members. You know, they're active. They they know their stuff. And then Scouts are sort of, like, new members or <sighs> returning Like a trial members. period. Yeah, 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 exactly. But, yeah, I think it, yeah, it would be cool to get, to get more of them involved. Because I honestly think once you get past Scout and the Warrior, you stay. Because, I mean, all all 19 Warriors I've played with, I've talked with, like, I know them pretty well now. Except for Verstein, that's a new one. But, like, anyways, you get, like, the, like, once you hit Warrior, you stay and you actually do things and you enjoy it. Right. Yeah, that's, that's accurate. And then when you hit Raider, I mean, you become Managathy. But yeah, that's my piece. Just Counter Strike. Cool. Well, yeah. I mean, I can uh, make an announcement, or you can make. I can uh, let you make an announcement. I used to have the role. Oh yeah, I just I just do that temporarily because. Um, but I I'm happy yeah. to give it anytime. I, yeah, I was gonna go give the ending of the event for the music board, but I couldn't make the announcement, so I did it in Meat Hall. Oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just feel free to to ping me or anything, and I okay. Will we'll let you know. Yeah, and I can I can add the counter strike to the calendar and stuff too, as well. Yeah, definitely. Because I mean, me and Knight and Jake play it almost ritually, and me and Knight are playing it a lot, so I think we'll recruit more. I feel like if I got it, I'd play a lot of it. Counter Strike's fun. I think I own it's, it actually. I've never played it. Though. It's a fun game. Like at first, you think the game sucks because you're not killing anybody, but then you realize, wait, I have to do. I have to learn how the gun actually shoots and how not to move all the way, like always. 
Yeah. Yikers. I have a question. Did I miss the official end of Fireside? Because I want to make an announcement, but I... No! Yeah, it's, uh, on... I'm probably going to end it in a couple of minutes, so, so go ahead, yeah. Okay, I just want to remind everybody to sign up for Secret Odin if you have not already. The sign up link is in the announcements. I don't know what that is, to be honest. Could you help me explain this? It's like a secret Santa. So basically, tell me what do. we're going... Uh, I set up a secret Santa for us to um, do. So basically, you sign up. You can give a physical address of where you might want something sent or a digital address, a.k.a. your email address. You can give it a couple general ideas. And then um, Goth and I will be splitting and assigning um, ran by random secret Santas. To everybody, I called it Secret Odin because Santa was based on Odin. So, um, if you go to that link, you'll see a form, and you can put the form oh, okay. in. There are a couple rules, which are right in the announcement and on the form. And if for whatever reason you can't do it, just let us know. Uh, end up not being able to do it, just let us know within t before ten days before winter solstice. Can I? May I ask if you've had any success so far? Uh, there are seven signups. One is including me. Okay, it's about to be eight. But, Yay! Uh, there, you have everybody has until November first to sign up. So it's just way ahead of time, so I could let people know to you know set us make sure people can have time to set aside the twenty dollars or so that they might need to might need to. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. I think I don't think I have signed up yet actually, but I'm planning on it. Yeah, so that'll be another one. I've been watching it like a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully get some more people. I mean, uh, obviously, this it was a lot easier, but with the uh, the quiz I was doing for the mark, I know uh, I made an announcement the first time, and I got eight responses, and then I made another announcement a few days later, and then it went up to 16. So it seems like you can get about eight people. That's just that's just filling out a Google form. It's not necessarily committing to uh, to put 20 bucks aside, but definitely you can so you know, make some more announcements, I... might get some more signups. If I don't want to do my physical address, can I not? Yeah, you can just choose to have an email. I mean, it'll only only I or and the person that you, you know, that gets you would see it. I would recommend, you know, I don't think anybody is going to come to anybody's house and, you know. Well, no, but I mean, I just have this thing where, like, I don't want to get a random package. I'm like, wait a minute, what is this? And then realize what it is. And my mom and I go, why do you have this? Oh, okay. Well, that's fair. All right. I... I have another call, so... Okay, cool. Alrighty. Well, we're right about 30 minutes. Like I said, it's going to uh, cut this one a little bit short, but uh, anybody have anything else they want to throw out in before we end? Um, I'm good. I've said my piece. I'm short on ideas this week. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said the meme yet, though. You did not! You are improving, Mr. <laughs> Vesberg. Oh, yeah, I'm on top of my game. Uh, I guess oh, one, one thing I did think of is uh, Warband Codexes. Um, I was super happy that we have at least one post in every codex now. And, um, yeah, I, I know I, I talked to Soulite because he had written some kind of lore pieces for each Warband. I think he wrote most of them or some of them. And those are all really, really cool to read. He's getting some of those out to try to give some sort of lore origins to each one, and then... Um, did may, did he do one for Un's favorite? Because nobody ever talked to me about it. <laughs> I don't think he did. He only did his three, I think, from his great company. Oh, gotcha. But, I, what did he... Maybe maybe those are the only three he did. I, I'm trying to remember. Because I think there's Kvasir's, but that was mostly Steiner wrote it, and so I added a little bit or, or edited it. Um, that was really cool by the way <laughs> yeah i really that liked it really cool and then um yeah he just sent me something from mjolnir's i think last night and uh bilgia's he wrote well he wrote one for kolga's though so hmm maybe he, he probably left uns alone because you've got quite a bit of lore that you've uh, created he's probably uh, i, I do have things in mind so yeah yeah uh, anyway, yeah, I, I like where those are going so far, and I've, um, yeah, I'm hoping to get um, an overview page for each warband because I had a, a few. I thought it'd be cool to have um, under each each warband have a thread, and they have like a flag or anything else they have, like if they have some other coat of arms or something. Um, I think like Kron's does is the only one I know of, 
and then um, listing symbols, colors, and then um, patron Einaryar. So they get to pick uh, uh, two Einaryar from the website that are like their, uh, you know, sort of like each house has like Dippity is Odin, Commander is Vidar, and Dane is Tyr. They pick like a, a patron Norse god. Well, this one you actually pick a patron member of WA, one of the, the Einaryar, you know, like the heroes of WA. Right. So, um, Loki. Do you, do you <laughs> did you not mention um, a for this overview? I think you mentioned it last fireside that there was some sort of example somewhere because this whole patron thing. I know you mentioned it. I completely forgot about it, and I've been thinking about the, doing the overview. I just didn't remember what you would want specifically in there. Do you have an example somewhere I could look up at some point so I could? you know, base mine off of it? Um, I do not. I think it's a good idea, though. I'll, I'll make, like, a template one. Because you do have a guide for, you know, y codexes. Right. Um, but yeah, this whole overview... Maybe you could add to that guide the overview. Maybe. Yeah, I could do that. I was just going to make just, like... um. A new thread, probably, uh, that would just be... I, either way, it, it, just to give me an idea, because I do want to work on it, I just need some more ideas. Because I mean, I am... <laughs> I'll be honest here, I'm the only one working on it uh, on my end, right? So... Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't given a task. Yeah, well, I mean, feel free to, to hit up your Huskar, because uh, I'll be honest, other than Pato, I think um, I think the Huskarls have been... I've been what if kind they don't of... have a Huskar? Um, let's see, what... You're in Bilgis, right? Yeah, Bilgis. so Not has been... He mentioned he was working on some stuff, but I think probably feel free to hit him up because, uh, I mean, not to rag on the Huskarls, um, but other than Pato, I think there hasn't been a lot of Codex activity. I've kind of been been on everybody's tail kind of to kind of getting them to do it, but I, if anybody who's not a Huskarl wants to write for the Codex, I mean, um, I'd say talk to your Huskarl and if they say no, then... <laughs> Then talk to me because I've been telling them that they need to get more entries. So if people are asking them to make entry or or offering to make entries, then I think they should. I'll just team kill tonight if he says no. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> the clan, the clan, the high king encourages members to post in their codex, d despite th what the husk girls might say. Yeah, because I have nothing in my codex. So I want to change that. <laughs> I would encourage it. So. Go for it. I, I don't think not... Uh, I mean, I can't speak for him, but I don't think you'd be in trouble for doing this. No, he wouldn't. Yeah, I think I think he's he's passionate about it. I think he just maybe hasn't had the time or hasn't gotten around to it, something like that. I, he's been busy. His work's been really making him super busy. For the help. What, what were you saying, Snow? I think he'd be way more than welcome for the help. Yeah, because he's, he's been super busy for work. Yeah. Well, I'm going to actually have to uh, call the fireside here. Does anybody have any final shout-outs before I shut off the stream? Follow my Snapchat. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Warframe so, night Mondays, uh, Monster Hunter Saturdays. I just got a 75 discount on Plat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, end, end it there, Vest. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, thank you, anybody who's uh, tuning in or listening to the VOD, I guess. I should be thanking the VOD watchers. And uh, thank you guys for showing up. See you next week.